In the last few days, I was surprised to hear that Lightwave 3D 2023 was just released after 3 years of not releasing any version. So basically from version 2020 straight to 2023. To be honest, I knew that they are gonna release it, I just didn't know when. So what do we get? A major update from Lightwave Digital, which introduces several innovative features and tools which helps make this 3D animation software a little better in different areas. This is actually good news and can potentially help it gain a little bit of its reputation, especially knowing that it was a huge and a very popular software in the industry back in the 90s and early 2000s. So, let's start with procedural geometry nodes. This new system allows the procedural generation and manipulation of geometry like what you can find in different 3D software such as Blender or Houdini. So, it integrates with a Lightwave instancing toolset and includes over 25 nodes for creating and manipulating polygonal geometry, splines, and volumetrics in OpenVDB format. The geometry created with these nodes is fully animated over time, which is something you can expect. And it is of course a nice addition that many artists will need. Also, one of the best news about this release is that Turbulence FD that was acquired by Lightwave Digital is now included in all 2023 licenses, which is great. This voxel-based Gaussian Fluid Dynamics plugin is well suited for creating realistic fire, smoke, and other fluid effects, and it is GPU accelerated for efficient performance. If you don't know, the core technology behind Turbulence FD is voxel-based fluid dynamics. This approach allows for detailed and realistic simulations of fluids, and it calculates the motion of fluids on a grid, which is then used to render gaseous phenomena like fire and smoke with high level of realism. One of the standout features of Turbulence FD is its GPU acceleration. This makes the simulation process significantly faster compared to CPU-based calculations, especially important for complex scenes or high-resolution simulations, which is needed in most of the cases, especially when working on VFX projects. The GPU acceleration ensures that artists and animators can work more efficiently. The 2023 release also got instance painting, so a new instance or brush enables artists to paint instances over surfaces in a 3D scene offering a more controlled approach to distributing instances, such as rocks or vegetation in a scene. This can be really helpful to populate environments fast using Lightwave 3D, which I think is a nice addition. Also, a little nice thing they have with this update is the 3D text tools. So, in a nutshell, the 2023 version introduces the ability to create 3D text directly in layout with features like text styling, beveling, and pre-character animation. We also have Lightwave Pro Tools, formerly known as Audi Tools. This collection of workflow enhancement tools is now natively included, which is great. And these tools can span across all of Lightwave, including modeler and layout. And it can improve the asset transfer between applications, which is even better. In another update, there is the Chrono Sculpt, and this tool for sculpting and editing animated 3D meshes focuses on manipulating deformations and animations over time. So, I think this can provide Lightwave artists with greater control over animations and simulations to make minor changes without having to start over. In addition, the update comes with some quality of life improvements. This means that the update includes numerous enhancements, especially in the node editor. These improvements streamline the node-based workflow, with options to duplicate, group, and color code nodes. Another thing that can be really important, especially for game developers, is the integration with Unreal Engine 5. So there is now a real-time bridge between Lightwave Layout and Unreal Engine 5, which is gonna be anticipated. And I think this can facilitate real-time communication and enhance workflows in game development and virtual productions. We all know that Unreal Engine 5 is a real deal when it comes to game development, and thousands of professionals and studios around the world use it. So I think this is a step in the right direction for Lightwave 3D to hopefully come back to the scene. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel 
to receive new videos like this about 3D software and CG news in general. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.